and girls how are you doing welcome back to the solid rock children's church hope you're all keeping very well and i hope you have been enjoying the lovely lovely sunny weather that we have had for the past few weeks and i know that many of you are still in school but I hope you've managed to enjoy the weather. I trust your teachers. I know they will send you boys and girls to the field, you know, to run around, to play. Uh, well, welcome back um, to this platform because today we have lots of activities that you boys and girls will, will be uh, participating in. I hope you're looking forward to it. I am. So we are going to have a, you know, a worship time. We're going to have a, a memory verse time. We're going to have a quiz. And remember, we have the story time. And after our story, we always have our lesson. This is where we have the discussion of what we, you know, learned in the story. So boys and girls, I'm going to see you at the lesson. Make sure you stay tuned and make sure you participate in every activity. God bless you and I'll see you soon. Hello friends, today is another awesome day in God's presence and today we are going to be singing about the greatness of God. Do you know we serve a God who is so big, he sits in the heavens and the earth is his footstool. Guess what, he holds every one of us in his hands. Let's go. Hey, put your hands together. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Together, let's go. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Come on, put your hands together as we sing it. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole. Just enjoy the Sí 
sing with me how great is our God. Let all see how great, how great is our God. I'm sure you know it. Let's go. How great is our God. Sing with me, sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great. Two more times. How great, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. One more, one more. How great, how great is our God. Sing with me. Now we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. And our memory verse today is taken from Acts chapter 2 verse 3 and it says, Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. After Jesus went back to heaven, his friends and helpers were praying together in a big room. Suddenly, something amazing happened. At first, it sounded as if a huge wind were blowing. Next, flames of fire flickered over every person's head. Then God's Spirit came, and everyone began to speak in different languages. This was the gift from God that Jesus had promised his followers. The day that God's Spirit came to Jesus' followers, there were people from many countries in Jerusalem. These people spoke different languages. When they heard Jesus' friends praying, they went to see what the noise was all about. They found Jesus' friends telling about the great things God had done. But they were all surprised to hear it in their own language. They asked, what does this mean? After that day, when the Holy Spirit first came, Jesus' followers began to do many miracles. Telling people about God's love and how Jesus had come to save them. One afternoon, Peter and John went to the temple. A man who couldn't walk sat there begging for money. Peter looked at him and said, I don't have any money, but I do have something else I can give you. By the power of Jesus Christ from Nazareth, stand up and walk. Up jumped the man. His feet and ankles were now strong. He was healed. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you paid attention to every activity and I hope you participated in all of them. Uh, wow, I'm so excited about this lesson because we're going to be seeing the power of God in action. 
you know, in the person of the Holy Spirit. I hope you follow that story. Um, I mean, that story just, it's a blessing, you know, it's a blessing that we have this gift of God. Remember, though, that the disciples, the apostles, they had to do a few things before they got the gift of the Holy Spirit. Why is that? The reason is God do, does not just give gifts, you know, without a reason. And he doesn't give gifts to people that don't desire it or that have not done anything, you know, to even want it. Because the gift of God is so precious. And if we are going to get it, then there are certain things that we have to do. And this is what I learned in this story. The first thing the disciples did, remember, when Jesus was leaving, when he was ascending, you know, uh, after he died and he resurrected and he was going back to the Father, remember, he told them, you know, that he will send another helper to them in the person of the Holy Spirit. But now, what did he tell them to do? There were a few things Jesus told them to do. He told them, first of all, to stay in Jerusalem. You know, he told them not to leave that city. He told them to be praying. He told them to be expectant. And exactly what the disciples did. Remember, they stayed in Jerusalem. They were at the upper room praying and waiting for what for this gift that God, you know, Jesus promised. Even though they didn't know what it was going to be, but they were obedient. You know, they waited, they were praying, and you know what? The Spirit of God, you know, came uh, into that room. And you know, when he came to that room, you know what happened. Miracles, signs and wonders, and all, you know, things that they could never do with their ordinary human, you know, ability. They were able to do just because of the Holy Spirit. So boys and girls, I want to encourage you and I want to tell you that God is willing to gift you with his, with, with his spirit. But you have to be able to pray to God, you have to desire it, and you have to be able to wait on God, boys and girls. And God is mostly interested in you boys and girls because you want to do great and mighty things through you. God bless you, boys and girls, and I'll see you very, very soon. Hello, friends. How are you doing? So, we're back here again. You know what time it is? Yeah, it is quiz time. So, let's get straight right into it. First question. At the Pentecost event dash of fire descended upon the apostles and they were filled with the Holy Spirit what is meant to be there A swords B tongues C doves D words And if you answered B, then you are correct. At the Pentecost event, tongues of fire descended upon the apostles and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Next question. What happened to the disciples when the Holy Spirit entered them? What happened to the apostles, to the disciples when the Holy Spirit entered them? A. They fell into a deep sleep. B. They all began to cry. C. They ate like pigs. D. They could speak in different languages. And if you answer D, then you are correct. The answer is D, they could speak in different languages. Next question. At the Pentecost event, those present began to preach in A, Hebrew, B, Arabic, C, all languages, D, tongues. And if you answered C, then you are correct. At the Pentecost event, those present began to preach in all languages. Next question number four. Why were the men confused by the 
disciples speaking other languages. Why were the men confused by the disciples speaking other languages? A. Every man heard them speak in their own language. B. They couldn't understand any language spoken. C. They felt fire in their mouths. D. Mighty wind whirled around while they spoke. And if you answered A, then you are correct. The answer is A. Every man heard them speak in their own language. And the last question, number five. It is not until the New Testament that the Holy Spirit is fully revealed at the Pentecost event. A. False. B. True. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B, true. And that's all we have for you today. Have a nice day.